In today's video, we will learn how to read out the values of an ADXL345 accelerometer sensor and the acceleration of this device, and that's coming up right after the intro. Hello world, my name is Asali, meaning basic in the language Hausa. Today, we'll learn how to read out the ADXL345 sensor, which is an accelerometer sensor. With this device, we can read out the X, Y, Z axis of the ADXL345 surroundings. These sensors are mostly used in our phone to know which direction our phone is looking, to know whether you're holding your phone vertical or horizontally. But the sensor can also be used to detect the amount of g-force it is experiencing. This can be seen used on a OnePlus Pro 7 in freefall, with the front-facing camera up. When the phone detects a freefall, the front-facing camera will retract back into the phone. This can be measured with the sensor as well. On to our schematic. To read out the ADXL345 accelerometer sensor values, we need to hook up the following four wires. One from Arduino 3V3 to the V-in pin on our ADXL345 sensor. The second from ground to ground and the third and fourth need to be hooked up to our SEL and SDA ports. These are used for I2C communication or master and slave communication. These ports are not well shown on the Arduino Uno, so take a closer look on the pinout to locate the SCL and SDA ports on the Arduino Uno. Now hook these two to the ADXL345 accelerometer sensor. Now go ahead and open up your Arduino IDE and go ahead and include wire.h. We need this library for the I2C communication. Now create an integer called ADXL345 that is equal to 0x53. This is the ADXL345 sensor's I2C address. Now create an additional three strings for the X, Y and Z outputs. In the void setup, we add our ser serial begin like normal and begin the wire listening pro protocol onto our void loop. To begin the transmission for our ADXL345 sensor, add the following line. To start with the correct values, we have to start from the following register 0x32, where the x value starts. Now you want to prevent that the transmission ends. Next, we want to read out 6 registers total. Each access value from the ADXL345 is stored into 2 registers. To read out the x, y and z values, we will create a simple float function called getWireRead like so. Inside here, we can create a float called value and start reading out our two registers to get one value. And now we should return our value, but divide the raw value by 256. Next, you should equal our strings x, y and z to our function to receive the amount of g-force the accelerometer is receiving on each axis. Now to finish off and read out our values, we have to write the following serial print and add our short delay. Now let's try to run our code, but first open tools and confirm you have checked the correct board. And of course, don't forget to choose the correct board as well. Now let's upload the code and wait a while, and if everything went correctly, you should be seeing the XYZ G-forces applied on the ADXL345 accelerometer. Hold up right. X and Y will go to 0 and Z to 1. Hold on an angle and X will go to minus 1 and Z go, will go back to 0. And if you hold it upside down, the X and Y will go back to 0 but Z to negative 1. If you start moving the ADXL345 accelerometer very fast, you'll see the G-force increase that I am applying by moving the sensor rapidly. If for some reason you have no code errors, but the numbers are reading out to zero, then try to switch the SCL and SDA pins. Please consider checking out my Patreon page as well, that would be awesome. There I upload all of my code with in-depth explanation of each video I ever created on this channel, just like this one. 
link for more information on that down below or on screen now. So that's it for today guys, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you won't miss out on the next video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye world.